Hey guys, so this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Pisces for the month of October 2018. And I just wanted to apologize to you guys for getting these out late. Um, I was sick. I got sick. I've been sick for like a week and I'm still kind of sick. I just have like a really nagging cough, especially when I'm trying to sleep. Um, but for the most part, I have been feeling like a lot better. And I had a little difficulty finding a good location to record your videos. Um, but I'm persevering, you know, we're going to make this happen. No matter what. Because <laughs> that's just what I do. So I pushed on through with my illnesses and everything to bring this to you. So it must be meant to be. That's how I feel about it. It must be meant to be. Alright, so I'm just going to shuffle these a few more times. these cards warmed up for you. Spirit is speaking to me loud and clear tonight. So, it was a good night. Light, light energy around me right now. I'm liking this Pisces. Some of you guys are really high spirits right now. I can feel it. It's awesome. I love that energy. I'm super jelly. I want more of that energy, guys. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Okay, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and cut this deck. Let's get this moving. All right, Pisces. Okay. All right, so in your past, you guys were trapped in your own mind about something. Like you were feeling stuck. It could have been with an Aries, because I got an Aries here. Um, I also have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius air energy. I feel like you're you you're you're gonna find out the truth about something or you already have maybe you just need more clarity on it um, I feel like once you get this truth in your present moment you're gonna be successful you have triumph and success you're cutting something out of your life as well once you get that clarity and it's going to make you have success because you're going to understand what you need to cut out. Okay. Um, presently, I feel like you're experiencing some mental conflict. Again, you're going to cut that out. And you're moving on from that energy. Moving on from that conflict. That mental conflict. Let's find out. Oh, third eye chakra. Guys. Maybe you're not using your intuition about something. You feel like you're having some emotional loss. You're waiting on someone. Yeah, but this is going to transform. You have transformation here. And in your future, you have the Three of Cups. So this is all about celebrations, um, getting together with friends, having drinks. Um, it's people who support you emotionally. Um, your people, your soul tribe. You're out with them drinking, having fun, getting together, celebrating together. Okay? Then you have rest and rejuvenation in your future and awareness. 
using that intuition. Wow, and then you have the universe. Some of you are going to be reaching a higher level of consciousness, a universal level. And then you have victory and success. Wow, guys. All right, let me do some clarifying. Let me do some clarifying. All right, what is this truth about here in the past? Spirit, give me one card for Pisces. What is the truth about? Okay, that's a lot of cards. But I'm going to run with them. Alright. Okay. I feel like it had something to do with someone... Okay. You found out something about someone, all right? You received some kind of communication or you were, you were supposed to, maybe intuitively. I'm picking up that it's intuitively. It wasn't like something from another person. It was somebody it was something that you were going to a message being brought to you by the universe. All right? For whatever reason you didn't get that message all right your intuition was blocked for some reason all right so you didn't get the message intuitively what was going on and you were feeling emotionally balanced at this time and you didn't go within like the hermit here See, the hermit, he goes within. I would know. I'm a Virgo. This is my card. <laughs> Anyways, so the hermit, he didn't go within, right? You didn't go within like the hermit, is what I'm trying to say. And I had it in reverse. So, you know, you needed to do that, but you didn't. All right. It's like this. And you made a choice. It could have been about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you let your guard down. So you have the nine of wands in reverse. You let your guard down about them. And, and somebody was trying to get away with something with the seven of swords here. It could have been an air sign or a fire sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person was trying to get away with something, and if you look at how the cards are, he's he's looking behind him and he doesn't realize he's running straight towards you. And you have your guard down. And you're not using your intuition. Someone is coming straight towards you and you have your guard down. In the past, this happened in the past. Okay. All right, so that was the past. So now we're going to clarify some of these cards here in the future. Let's clarify this emotional loss. This is your present moment, not your future, your present moment. Why are you feeling emotional loss? All right. We have the King of Cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have the Hermit, which is Virgo. Could have something to do with a water sign like yourself or a Virgo. Needing to go within. This person here is emotionally balanced. It could also be a Libra or a Cancer or a Scorpio. Air or water is what I'm picking up. You know, this is definitely a Virgo, but this is emotionally, this is an emotionally balanced person. This is someone who's mastered their emotions. 
and it's clarifying emotional loss. So maybe, okay, I get it now. So what they're saying is that you, in, in your present moment, you were experiencing emotional loss because you didn't use your intuition because this is actually clarifying the third eye chakra, which you had a blockage on. You weren't using your intuition. The universe was trying to share something with you and you, you had this block on your third eye. You didn't get the message like you were supposed to. And you were feeling emotional loss because of that. And in the past, you weren't like this hermit. You didn't go within. You know, this was in reverse. But now, in your present moment, you still have emotional balance. And, and you're going in within like this hermit. Okay. So, okay, I get it. It makes sense now. All right. So let's see what we have here. You have awareness which is like intuition, right? So let's go ahead and clarify that. Let's clarify this awareness, please. Whoa, too many cards. <laughs> All right. You have the high priestess. Shit, guys. You need to use your intuition in the future. So now I'm going to clarify this universe card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Again, this is your card too, guys. The High Priestess. Pisces. Alright, universe. Clarify the universe card, please, spirit. You have the Page of Pentacles. So this is a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This is someone making you a small offer, like a gesture, like basically saying, hey, what are you doing later? Do you want to go to the movies? Or it could be someone contacting you about work. You know, maybe you've been putting applications out. Um, it could also be... you making this offer to someone... Alright, so now I'm going to clarify the victory and success card. One card, please, Spirit. Alright, someone's feeling defensive again. This could be a Sagittarius. Um, I'm picking up Sagittarius. You're going to have victory and success in the future. But it has something to do with a Sagittarius being defensive. And maybe you're feeling defensive against a Sagittarius or they're feeling defensive about you. But you're going to be, you're going to have victory and success at the end. So, I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> you guys can let me know what the hell that's about. Alright. That was an interesting ending. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pull you guys a Universal Love Oracle card. Let's see what the universe has to say. One card, please. Spirit, one card, please, Spirit. For Pisces. October, love. One card. One card for Pisces. Wow, the energy shifted. Wow, you guys got the gateway. Who got this card? I think Gemini. Gemini just got this card. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Gemini as well. 
Everybody's got the gateway. So let me read this to you. I don't normally get this card. Like, I think this is the second time I've gotten this card since I've, I've owned this deck. A chapter in your life is coming to a close. Surrender it graciously and with love. Trust. All is hell eternally within our hearts. As the natural cycles of life take their course, remember that spring always follows the winter. Time is a gateway. Allow its precious beauty to pour into your heart. If there is sadness at this time, remember a new chapter unfolds. Love guides all things. That's so awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to pull you some Power of Love Oracle cards. These are James Van Frog. Uh, he is the author of these cards. The creator, I guess you would say. So, Spirit, and I have... Okay. You have patience. You're able to let the universe, universal energies... I'm sorry, you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Guys, you guys got universe here, the universe card. That's really cool. Let me see what else we got. Spirit, what else do you want them to know? Patience, Pisces, patience. <laughs> Let the universe work its magic. You guys got joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. How true is that? I'm telling you. And that is like the energy I was feeling when I first started your reading. So light. Such a light, happy, joyous feeling. It was awesome. <laughs> Wow, you're making me smile again. Okay, one more card. Okay, one more card. Oh, here we go. You have gratitude. You, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Gratitude. And you have kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love, and you are able to share that energy with others. That's awesome. You guys got some awesome cards. Please tell me what this is about, clarifying victory and success with the Sagittarius. I'm dying to know what that is about. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great month. Happy Halloween, and thank you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, um, and don't forget to uh, subscribe. See you later.